Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, bye. What's going on, guys? Yozuki here, back with another video. So today, um, well, first off, my camera's messed up. Like the, the colors and all this shit are kind of like weird. I think because I was fucking around with it, just seeing what it could do, and I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix that sometime. My sleeping schedule is completely shit. Plus, I have, like, summer school starting very soon, actually. It starts um, on the 8th of this month. It's currently the 2nd. I don't really know if I'm posting this today or tomorrow. So today's story is the time that, like, we crashed my great-grandparents' boat at their cottage. My great-grandparents used to own a cottage. Like, I don't know if you know what that is, but... Um, I killed that guy. Basically, it's just this, like this like place you go i don't know well we went there it was like on a lake and then you know we had a boat and like a dock and like a little like house thingy and and it was pretty cool fuck we went there during like the summers and stuff but then they sold it because my, the you know my grandpa my great grandpa's health was kind of declining and we sold they sold it because they couldn't really maintain it he ended up passing away and they don't have it anymore but at the time we used to have a lot of fun um, my whole family would go there, and it was just a great time, it was great memories, and just overall fun. So, oh, uh oh, let's play chicken with the train, motherfucker! Hola, ah. cabar! <laughs> so we're at this cottage, right? And I was actually a lot younger. Uh, at the time, I was very young. I was like, what, 10? 10, 10 or younger? I just kind of went along with things, you know, I just kind of went with the fuck. I kind of just went with the flow, I, I really just did whatever they did, you know? Can you suck a fucking dick, Lunar? Yeah, we're not playing that lobby. The reason I thought of this story was because it took place at like the same time of year as it is right now. Because my cousin, he's actually born um, on like the 4th of July, right? So we would go there and we would have like, you know, his birthday party, but we would also celebrate the 4th of July. So we were doing that, and we decided to go out on the boat. Me and my cousins decided to go out on the boat, and we were like, you know, whatever, we're gonna go out here. And mind you, at this point, it's like 9 or 10 at night. It's really, really dark, and it's it's not like it's hard to see, but it's just, it's difficult. And you know, it's it's to the point where it's dark out, right? It's, really, it's pretty dark, and you know, we're not able to see that far in front of us. We're, we're probably able to see like 20, 30 feet. That's about it. And you know, when you're in a boat in the middle of a lake, you kind of want to be able to see everything that's going on. It's just... You just want to be able to see that, right? So we weren't actually able to see the, like, other side of the, the lake. And we got to a point where we started to see the other side and realized it was closer than we thought. So by the time that we started, like, breaking, we ended up hitting the other side. Mind you, we were going at decent speed. I really don't know. I don't remember how fast we were going. But it was fast enough to the point where we are like, it was too, too late to stop. Like, we're going to hit this and that's going to make us stop. So we're bracing for impact. We're like, holy fucking shit. I mean, I was too young to swear, and I probably was too young to even know what those words meant. But I was flipping out, and if I could say holy fucking shit, I probably would have said holy fucking shit. So we end up hitting the side, and my cousins are flipping out. They're like, because it's the two of them. I don't know. I think it was just the two of them and, and me. Because I have a lot of cousins. I don't really remember who was with us. Mind you, I love boats. People, like, when they get into, a, you know, tragic events like this or just events in general, like, that are scary to them, they usually steer clear of stuff like that for the rest of their life. I fucking love boats, guys. I want to go on a cruise. If I could live on a boat, like, on a cruise or something, I would live there. I just love cruises. I was on a cruise a couple years ago, and it was so much fun, honestly. It was one of, like, the most enjoyable experiences of my life. Um, I don't know if, there any if anything cool happened on the cruise that was, like, story-worthy, but... You know, it, it was fun. So my cousins are actually trying to figure out a way to cover this up. They're like, they're trying to like figure out a way to, to make it so no one finds out that we crashed the boat. And it, the whole front's kind of dented and fucked up. And like the other people on the other side are coming out and they're like, what's going on? Like, we crashed into their dock, you know? So obviously these people are going to come out and flip out and, and, and just be very mad, mad at us. Now my family owned the cottage for, for years. You know, like, they were probably some of the older people who owned, like, the, the cottages. So everyone knew who they were. So they automatically knew that it was, like, our family's boat. They know who exactly who we are. And, and this is just bad news for us. These people, like, call the, the, like, what is it called? The, 
whatever like the, the authority boat authorities are you know i don't i don't know the boat that comes out that's like the police of the place getting text messages up in here snapchats and whatnot oh shit i meant to aim for this guy and i, I got the other guy i don't know so they call them and then they call our my grand my great grandparents and you know they they call everyone over and they're just like everyone's flipping out the my grandparents get over and they're like we're never letting you on the boat again like we had to get a new boat like that's how damaged the boat was like they didn't want to fix it they just it was kind of old too it wasn't like the newest thing so we had to get a new boat and and you know my cuz my cousins if they had a youtube channel you know right now they they're you know having kids of their own and stuff so i don't think they would ever make a youtube channel but if they did they've got some stories to tell you know uh, maybe I'll be allowed to tell them probably not, but they've got some funny ass stories just to mention a couple You know punching cops Fucking getting banned from Canada. I it's a long story guys long story um, Got that guy fuck off So yeah, we crashed the boat and it was just a horrible thing You know the boat police that's what I'm gonna call them the boat police came out they fucking flipped out on us the grandparents came over you know we weren't allowed to use the boat the rest of the year we kind of all just went home early we didn't even stay at the cottage like the whole summer anymore like like that at that point we didn't we just all kind of went home like we kind of ruined it for everybody and i kind of feel bad now thinking about it like it was just a it was just a bad situation so if you guys are ever in a boat make sure you're boating in the daytime okay because boating at night is kind of a bad idea and i don't know if it was foggy or what the fuck was going on but we just couldn't see oh i almost forgot the best part holy shit this is like the part that i thought of originally and i just forgot about it after like when we were like like originally hitting the, the dock the guy who owns the house comes out with like a baseball bat and he's threatening to like kill us he comes out and he's like who the fuck are you and he starts like trying to swing at the boat like what the fuck is swinging at a boat gonna do bro you're gonna you're gonna try to hit the boat like it's 3v1 Let's go, fight me. I'm I'm 10 and I'm gonna kick your ass. And no. But um but no, that was just a very the guy comes out with a baseball bat trying to fucking hurt teenagers and a kid. Like what I feel like I'm really pale in this video or something because like I fucked with the shit. Sorry guys if I wasn't as enthused in this video. I just I'm really tired and yeah, like I've been staying up until like 5 a.m. every morning or every no night morning. So I said I'd read some more of these things. This one says, uh, at ZQ Zombies on Twitter, because this is on Twitter. It says, you are awesome and my favorite YouTuber. You keep me entertained with your videos. So thank you so much for that. I will favorite this tweet right now. Thank you so much. From LA Kings. Hey, man. Love your videos. I like your life stories. Keep it up. By the way, thanks for making me call 911 by telling Siri 112. Uh, for anyone who did that, I'm sorry. It was a little joke. Uh, it, it, you didn't have to click accept to the, to the calling thing. I think it gave you a couple seconds to count down. This guy says, I watch all your videos, bro. Keep up the good work. Thank you, King Chris. So thank you all for watching the video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more. If you want to be featured in a video, remember to tweet at me or go on like Instagram or Snapchat and uh, write something nice or just write something to me and I'll read it in a video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to share it on Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Facebook, and Pornhub. And don't forget to stay chill.